Hey there guys, what's going on? This is Buzzardek here and welcome to Tuesday Tutorials and thanks for tuning on to this video. And in this video I will tell you guys on how you can make it awesome low it hurts for your YouTube videos or any other kind of videos you make. And I will teach you on how you can make a low it hurts in Photoshop. So if and if I get 10 likes, at least 10 likes for this video, I will teach you on how you can edit them and add some motion graphics and add some effects to uh, add some motion to it in After Effects uh, if I get at least 10 likes, okay? Before beginning, I will show you the uh, I will I will show you in the tutorial about making something like this um, it's like a uh, like thumbs up and then be sure to like so I will show you something like this so Let's have a look. So first of all, you have to do is go to file, new, and over here, name your file like uh, lower thirds, and make sure you have the preset to custom. Basically, for lower thirds, you don't need something like a uh, width like 1280 by 720. You can have either like 750 by okay wait 720 by 150 I had researched this stuff on Google and I found out that these are the optimum heights for a lower third okay and be sure the resolution is on 300 and the background contents to a transparent now click on okay and you now you have this and what you have to do is go to the go over here and choose this foreground color and then you choose whatever color you want for your uh, in the background for your lower third I will do it something like uh, gray let's try out gray and you can add a paint bucket or you can simply add something like a gradient You can do any stuff. I will just click on to the paint bucket and I will just add something like a paint bucket. Okay, uh, I added a paint bucket. Now, what we will do is that select this layer, now go to FX, and then you have to go to inner glow. So, basically, it is like a, a glow inside this. So, I will just make it a uh, color to something like a white and We'll make it opacity to 100 and it to normal blend option to normal don't play around with the noise and just go down and have the choke to choke a bit and the size a bit like this and the range if you go range a bit down it will be sharp enough we want it very smooth so I will just increase the range and we will make it anti aliased and so click on ok and now what you have to do is add something like an icon whatever you are making like if you are making something like like my twitter page like my twitter twitter account or like my facebook page or subscribe to my channel you can do is that i get a vector get a vector icon from the internet i will give a link down in the description so you can download a vector icon And this okay that looks okay and that looks a bit good and then what you can do is that you can add text like subscribe 
now and change it to color like or we'll make it white and or oh, blue we'll make it white and uh, we'll change the font to something like typography and this font is super awesome yeah you know it's cool enough awesome we'll make it extra bold and we will just decrease the size a bit so that it meets up with the canvas okay now we'll just move this a bit down over here and actually what happened is that the vector images are not well precised enough and so they look ugly but you can just go and check out something some files on the internet okay so select the text of yours and go to this character window if you don't have this a or, or this this stuff just go to window and select character okay and then you will have this over here and then click on this character and make sure you ju just do it like just select this and then do it to italics and this will have like this and we'll change the horizontal horizontal scale of the text and now we can just spread the text a bit that looks good bit good and we'll go to the effects option selecting the text I will go to stroke and over here we'll add a little stroke like around 3 and then we will go to drop shadow let the blend mode to be normal opacity to be 100 distance to be a bit spread to be a bit and size to be a bit like this and we'll decrease the opacity a bit and the distance a bit like this and it looks good okay but you have to uh, you can just play around with the icon you have I can't really have this icon with myself so that's kind of like a boring situation for me but you can play around with the better quality of icons on the internet and find them and just bring it to your canvas and after you this after you have edited this just go to file then save as and save it as a PSD file so if you are importing it in After Effects or any other software which supports PSD or you can just go to uh, and add, import it as a PNG file and I will just make it on the desktop and click on save and okay so that's done so after you save the file it's all done with your lower third now you can import it in your preferred editing software and you can just make it add some animations or do some stuff and I had told you before that if I get 10 likes to this video I will make a video about make uh, about animating this lower third in After Effects so guys that's it so guys thanks for being till the end and you were watching on how to make an awesome lower third in Photoshop and so guys be sure to leave a like down below and be sure to share this with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus or any other social medias and guys please give me a honest feedback in the comment section below and so guys thank you for watching and I will meet you next time bye bye and have a nice day